Welcome. My name is Colleen Tauke and I'm a sewing specialist here at Bonds & Porter. In this Quilt & Quickly tutorial, I'll show you how to put together the blocks for the quilt called Waves of Green. If you'd like to purchase this pattern, please visit our website. We're going to be using two and a half inch pre-cut strips of some really great fall prints flannels. And then we're going to be using background fabrics in two different colors. You can see here, there's two different prints. They're very muted, so just kind of a, um, kind of that grain background for the darker little squares to pop off of. So we're going to be using those pre-cuts in the darks and then use some yardage that we're going to cut into two and a half inch strips to match up to make our blocks. So let me take these out of the way. The fun part about this is it's a lot of straight sewing, a, a really great beginner kind of project. If you're just teaching or just learning um, how to quilt, this is a great project to work on because you can get that quarter inch seam really um, ingrained and exactly know where exactly it is and then work on pressing techniques. So this is the block within the quilt and you can see that they're all set up so the diagonal goes the same direction all the way across the quilt, kind of like the, the wind blowing through a grain field. So we are going to be cutting pieces. Um, we're coordinating two oranges, two purples, two greens out of your pre-cut strips, and you're going to cut two and a half inch squares out of that. So for one block, you need two of one print and three of its coordinating print. And then those background strips, you're going to be cutting four different sizes. You're going to cut eight and a half strips, six and a half, four and a half, and two and a half. So those are the pieces you're going to need to put together your block. Now let's lay it out. There are great diagrams in our pattern, so you can just follow along with those on the different sizes and making sure you get everything right. But it's an alternating stair step of the squares, like that and then basically filling in with the bars so that you know you need a top and a bottom to be straight. So we're just gonna fill in with a short bar there. The four and a halves go here and here. Six and a halves, we're gonna work our way out. Six and a halves here. And the eight and a half on each end. Now, simple seaming of putting these rows together Making sure you take time to press. If you, uh, when you're pressing, if you press all of your seam allowances toward the dark square, as you put different rows together, pressing always towards the dark fabric, then when you are joining your rows together, you can get opposing seams. And I'll show you what that means if you're new to quilting or piecing. And even if you're not, uh, it's a great way to get your pieces to go together very nicely. So here, I'll show you, we've got pieces joined into rows already to make our block. Each of these has been pressed toward the small square, see here toward the center. Now when I go to put the first two bars together, put them right sides together, you can see that then I have what they call opposing seams, one with seam allowance going one direction and the other, so that when we stitch them together, quarter inch along here. Those will lock together and that gives us a nice um, intersection where the points just touch. And then when you're done, as you join two, make sure you press, then add and join um, as you go succession across the block. Make sure you're pressing as you go so that the back of your block looks like this, nice and flat, so that when you take it, either to quilt yourself or to a quilter, that you have a nice flat quilt top. And then the blocks are kind of uh, the colors are, aren't grouped, so you don't have long strings of greens or purple, but the colors in each block are kind of scattered throughout, so you get waves of green. Also remember that this is a flannel quilt, so your binding is cut at two and a half. That makes it a little bit wider to help get around the thickness and bulk of a flannel quilt. Thanks for joining me today. If you'd like to see more of our Quilting Quickly tutorials, please visit our website.